So this is a video that I'm not exactly sure where it's gonna go because I haven't really planned it, but I was like about to make some butternut squash and it came into my mind. Yeah, so um, my grandma is by far, hands down, the most important woman in my entire existence. I've made past videos about um, her, but she's, you know, the single number one most, <laughs> The person that has never, ever, ever, ever judged me for being anything. And also, when my parents were fucking flakes um, during their respectable intermittent times, um, she was there. She's my constant, um, and that's my grandma. So when something happens to her, I drop life. Literally drop life. So she's been in, in and out of the hospital now uh, over the last probably four years. Every time it's been for like something different. So this most recent time, she had had high blood pressure, which she's been dealing with for years now. But that high blood pressure was calling, causing her to like retain water and she wasn't properly excreting the water. So she's now retaining water. It's now leaking into her lungs and um, that's a problem because that causes chest pain and you can have a whole host of sh shit fucks, okay? She got admitted to the hospital, you know? They're like, let's take some water pills because you're 82 and that's what we're going to do because you have high blood pressure and that's what needs to happen. Okay, cool. Problem is she was having the chest pain. She waited too long to go to the doctor, but that's who my grandma is. She's very like, you know, I'll take care of myself kind of thing. I don't want to burden anyone else but it always just doesn't, it backfires. So, um, you know, she went in, <clears throat> think we're in the clear, and she had ended up having a mini stroke over the night, one of the nights. When I say a mini stroke, like it was the oddest stroke I've ever heard of because it was so mini, and so many, like, so like, hey, what's up, hello, that all she did for a moment in time was lose the ability to speak. And they were like, oh, hey, uh, you just had a kind of a stroke there. No damage whatsoever. None. But what the butt fuck, grandma? I get it. You're 82 and all this medical shit's going on with you. But like, I mean, she's a fighter. I'll give her that. But the point of my video is this. For me and for her, I drop my entire life to be with her whether it's me sitting in the waiting room in a hospital because you know she's like in tests or sitting in her room while she literally sleeps or while she sits there and 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 i help her eat or i help her walk to the bathroom whatever it is like i have the ability to move with my job i can tell my job hey this is going on i need to go and i'm not ever questioned and i'm not asked twice i get to go and i get to be there and if i wasn't able to do that i would lose my fucking mind because i have such terrible anxiety and she means so much to me but the thing is is that during these times when people do go into the hospital and are dealing with certain things or if somebody's like chronically sick it's like sometimes it pains me the people that appear out of nowhere like hey how are you doing hey are you okay um you know can i do something for you or bring flowers or bring food and i know that's the the, the thing to do and the nice thing to do and i'm sorry you're sick and i'm sorry for your loss and i know that is what happens in this world to make each other feel better but like fuck you that's fucked up because half of them are my relatives but like seriously fuck you because you know what at the end of the day it's like you don't call up to say hello. You don't ever show up to say, hey, what are you doing? Let's like have a salad. Like you're never ever there. And I mean that directed not to any specific person that is in the friend's family category, but yes and no, because some of the family members I literally have never fucking seen in my life. Although sometimes they know me because I look like my father, which is cheating because I say he looks like me. But it makes me feel funny because they leave and I'm like, Grandma, who the fuck are these yahoos come like? And she laughs. And it's because it's like, they do it because they do care and they do love her. And we all love each other because that's family and that's friends. But it's like, 
I'm like, they don't even know what they're talking about, Grandma. Let's get the, get the fuck out of here with this shit. <laughs> and it's just like, it's humorous to me, and it's also an annoyance to me. And sometimes when I'm in the opposite position, and I have somebody that I know that has lost a family member or has lost... Um, you know, a friend or somebody that was close to them that I can't even understand that relationship, you know? I tend to shut the fuck up and stay away. I don't believe in including me in the masses. You know, if you lose somebody close to you and and I, I, I'm an acquaintance of yours or I am a family member of yours, but I wasn't close with said person or I'm not even entirely that close with you, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm just trying to show the respect that you deserve from me not being fake. Because at the end of the day, I don't know your relationship with said person that you are mourning over, for example. Or I, I didn't have a relationship with that said person. And yes, I could show my support and say, yeah, feel better. Sorry for your loss. That sucks. I hope they get better. But guess what? I'm not going to be there when your relative or your friend gets out of the hospital and you got to take care of them. No, I'm not going to be there. Just like you're not going to be there when my grandma gets out of the hospital or, you know, when she needs help. Like, when I'm there and I'm, you know, carrying her off the bed or I'm feeding her fucking jello or wiping, like, like her wounds, you know, like I'm one of a, of a, of a handful of people that are there non-stop you know, and it's, there's really no point to this video, to be honest, except that it's just irritating, like, why show up when you're never there, your respect is only half-ass appreciated, and it goes both ways, and I'm not denying that, but at the end of the day, ah, uh, it's, you know how much food, you know how much food I got because my mom died? Food from people I didn't even know. Flowers from people I hadn't seen in decades. Thanks. They're pretty, they smell good, you fed my stomach for an hour. But where the fuck were you when, when they needed help? You know, where were you? More importantly, like where was I? Where was I that I couldn't help somebody? And that is something I take away from my mother's passing that I do everything in my power to be there for my grandmother in the now, right now. And I just am lucky that I am able to have the flexibility with my job to just pick up and go. Um, and so I guess I'm blessed in that way. But this is just a rant video. Um, I'm not in the business of being polite because you're going through a hard time just because I know you. It's fake. I'm being fake. So if I ever do that, I'm being fake. But if I genuinely and sincerely care about you or care about your significant other, your loved one, your friend, then I would have been there the entire time and you shouldn't have to question. And it's just an understanding. But that's life. Social construction. Well, she got discharged today. Hopefully. I think that's where I last left off. And... We're good to go for another who knows how long. Um, I love my grandma. And that's all I gotta say. We're done!